And Diwani, for three decades now, you've been at the forefront of the performing arts industry in Cyprus as a choreographer. While it remains a side passion for many, you have successfully transformed your passion into a profession. How did you first come to dance and then choreography? I started dancing when I was four in the UK and then gradually all of this discipline that I was doing ballet tap and modern motivated me to become a professional dancer. We came back to Cyprus so I became a member of different groups, dance groups and I was part of the Astasis in Limassol so there was doing a lot of shows so it's there where I started to think that this is what I want to do and then through the years I was a choreographer and uh, uh, a dance teacher because I've been having my dance schools for the last 30 years. Your academy in Nicosia teaches the most popular types of dance including ballet, commercial, contemporary, jazz, tap, hip-hop and lyrical. What life lessons are taught through dance? You don't have to become a professional dancer to be able to join a dance school because a dance school can give you so much confidence through all disciplines of dance and musical theatre. So in my academy, I have students that they come with a lot of difficulties in expression or they come here because they love and I need to find all their, their world, their inside world and bring it out and make them happy. It's not just making good dancers, it's making good characters and good people. And through dance, you can do all this. What are some of the most important elements of storytelling for you in theatre and in your concert dance work? I've been doing a lot of productions through my schools with a lot of musical and I've been working with uh, directors, scriptwriters, musicians, assistant choreographers, dancers, all of these people and my dance academy uh, students. For me, theatre is magic. So the first day I go to the theatre and I do this every year, every time I do my shows is when I stand in the middle of the, on the stage and I can see and feel all the energy from the theatre. Empty seat, but there's so much energy. So this is why I call theatre a magic for me. Uh, blessed and lucky to have my 30 year anniversary um, of my dance academy and we put up Aladdin the musical everything was live live singing acting dancing uh, very nice scenery music uh, costumes everything was so professional and so um, up to the standard that I have set my standards and I fight with myself. <laughs> I always have my standards and every two years that I put up a production, my goals are more up. One of the things that I've learned through all this experience is teamwork. And this is how I work. Any success is not for one person. The success is within the team. Where do you find most of your inspiration for your choreographic work? My creativity and my inspiration is through my everyday living. I, I get inspired from everything I live, the, the good, the bad, the sad. My life is um, it's separated into two uh, ways, which is my personal life and my uh, professional life. On a personal level, I'm very proud of my daughter, which I have a Corina, she's 20 years old, and I'm very proud of her. Uh, for her studies, for her whatever she's achieved as a as a, a person, she's a very lovely person with a, a very good heart. So as a mother, I couldn't feel more fulfilled and proud for 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 my daughter. And on a professional level, um, I have this for the last 30 years, going on to 31 years. And through this dance academy, I had 52 students that they have uh, achieved and successfully uh, has places in, uh, uh, in UK and America into professional studies for dance and musical theatre. And they're out in the industry, either teaching or choreographing or dancing. So I'm very proud of this and blessed and very happy and proud for my students. And at the same time, I've been choreographing for the last 28 years on theatre companies, not just mine, but in Cyprus and TV work. So 
I think I feel fulfilled. <laughs>